Okay, um, there's several lessons that I learned as I go through different processes and I'm still in a process. Um, but two things that I learned is that there is a difference between believing God, believing in God and having and knowing him intimately. There's a difference between believing God exists and knowing him intimately. And um, there's also one thing we like to get knowledge, but a lot of times we don't get understanding. We know the scriptures, yes, God says don't do this, yes, God says don't have sex, yes, God says, you know, you know, follow him, but we don't really understand why. We don't really have that understanding. And I was um, listening to a sermon by Tori Roberts, and I shared the scripture with my friend, who's in the front row. But um, the scripture, Jeremiah 29 and 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you, you know, a hope in the future. And I love that verse. And it was always like a verse that I lived by, but I don't think I really understood the verse. And there were certain things that I wanted to work out in my life. And I would, when they weren't working out, I would always say, well, it's gonna work out because Jeremiah 29 and 11. So this thing that I'm praying for, it's gonna happen because Jeremiah 29 11. I would just always say the verse. Okay, well, the thing didn't happen at all. <laughs> Ship has sailed, like it's over, like done. So it didn't happen and I'm like, I had Jeremiah 29 11 stamped on this verse. And now I don't even wanna hear the verse anymore because it's not true. These plans not happening. So when I heard the sermon, he was he was explaining. He said a lot of times we like Jeremiah twenty nine and eleven, and um, one of the things that we realize you have to realize is before that verse, he talks about how they're going to be in suffering for seventy years. And so I'm like, yeah, it's true. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. But um, he had preached that in a sermon before. But what was really dynamic about what he said when he broke down Jeremiah twenty nine and eleven, he says, it says, for I know the plans that I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you. And then he repeated it, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. He said, the reason why it says not to harm you after plans to prosper you is because sometimes when God is prospering you, it can feel and look like he's harming you. Sometimes when God is prospering you, it can feel and look like he's harming you. So sometimes you are going through painful moments and you're like, where is God? And why is he doing this? And why is it so hard? And why is this process so much for me to get through? But God is saying, this is hard because I need to do this for you to prosper. You cannot prosper unless you go through this pain. You cannot make it unless you endure this. And so that was a revelation to me that you say these words and these scriptures, but it's lip service a lot of times. Yeah. You have the knowledge, but you don't really have the understanding. Mm -hmm. So one of the lessons that I learned is God said, you need to be intimate with me. You don't know me. You go to church, you raise your hands, you like to speak, you want to write, but you don't know me. You need to know me intimately, and you need to know the difference between knowledge and understanding. 